Hi everyone, welcome to the official walkthrough for PX Memories from UVI. PX Memories is a powerful sample-based instrument based on one of the sweetest sounding and most powerful analog synthesizers, the Lintronics Advanced Memory Moog, or LAM for short. To truly preserve the analog sound of the LAM, over 38,000 samples are packed into PX Memories, with 353 presets made from 171 programs, divided into 16 categories. Every patch in PX Memories is fully customizable, allowing you to use them straight away or as a starting point for your own sound design. Let's check out a few of these. A massive creative advantage of PX Memories is the ability to load up two programs at once with full expressive control over each. Each program in PX Memories functions as its own layer, essentially giving you another entire LAM that can be layered, filtered, animated, and arpeggiated together or individually to create truly massive analog sounds. For example, I could load up this pad lamb preset, and by itself it's a nice warm pad sound. But on program two, there's an organ preset loaded up. So I'll just power up layer B to bring in the organ for a big ethereal pad without even using any effects. And here I have a preset loaded that has the two layers hard panned for a big stereo effect. For the amplitude and filter settings, there's three routing options. You can control these individually for layer A and layer B, or affect layers A and B together. In the amplitude section, you have your typical ADSR envelope to control volume, and you can turn on velocity sensitivity here. Each layer has three unison modes, unison off, unison on, and LAM. These are actually three different sample sets, so you always get the real sound of the LAM, not a digital emulation, and combined, you can essentially have up to 36 authentic hardware analog voices sounding per note. So you can get some absolutely massive sounds this way. I'll demonstrate this again with a mono bass preset. And like the amplitude and filter modules, the unison modes can be layered independently as well. So if I wanted, I could have layer A 
with unison on or in lamb mode, and then layer B with unison off. The filter offers low pass, band pass, and high pass options with typical filter controls, cutoff frequency, resonance, and a built-in filter envelope. The depth knob controls the depth and directionality of the envelope, and the velocity knob adds an additional one-pole filter after the main filter to create tonal changes based on velocity. So if you roll this up, you'll get a brighter tone with higher velocities and a warmer tone with lower velocities. At the bottom, you have a master volume control and five different panels to explore in addition to the main panel. In the edit panel, you can affect the voicing, pitch, stereo effects, and modulation wheel effects. And you can do this individually for layers A and B or for A and B together. You can choose between monophonic and polyphonic voicing. The time knob allows you to add pitch glide to notes. And in polyphonic mode, you can adjust the depth of the glides as well. The pitch module allows you to control the tuning in octaves or semitones. The stereo module allows you to add stereo spread and detuning effects to make your sounds even more massive. And you can even assign vibrato, tremolo, or a filter sweep to the modulation wheel, or all three at once if you like. And again, this can be done individually for each layer. So if I want layer A to have vibrato and tremolo, and layer B to have the filter sweep, I can do this. In the modulation panel, you have a step modulator and an LFO. The step modulator can control both the volume and the filter and you can select whether layer A and B or both are affected for each. You can adjust the number of steps and the speed of the steps here and customize the level of each step up here. Additionally, you can make the step modulation a bit more gradual by adding a start delay and a rise up to the maximum value. And if you want to get rid of any clicking sounds, you can smooth out the motion of the step modulator as well. PX Memories has a single LFO with four waveform shapes, sine, square, triangle, and step and hold, which is essentially a stepped random shape. The LFO can be paired to pitch, volume, and the filter for each layer individually. In the effects panel, there are seven included effects, including an EQ, a drive unit, Thoris, which is UVI's custom chorus module, an ensemble effect, a phaser, a delay, and the spark verb reverb unit.
The arpeggiator panel offers two independent arpeggiators, the first on the left for layer A and the second on the right for layer B. So this preset is arpeggiating layer A, but keeping the smooth strings on layer B. Or you can use both arpeggiators together for some great interlocking grooves. You can customize each arpeggiator to your liking or choose from a collection of great arpeggiator presets. The arpeggiators are also great for building out some truly analog drum beats as well. Here's an example I made using some noise beats for the groove, an analog kick and snare sound, a bass, a pad, and an arpeggiator instrument. All of the elements in this example are from PX Memories. No additional effects or instruments were used. So that's PX Memories, the ultimate version of an incredibly powerful and extremely rare instrument. As you've seen in this video, PX Memories presents you with a full suite of controls to tweak and augment its sound to fit your particular use. If you're interested in checking out PX Memories for yourself, head over to uvi.net where you can hear even more amazing musical examples. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.